We went to the antique show today and spent more money than I expected, but you know what? I got something pretty honking here. Uh, I got this Coca-Cola garbage can, which matches the uh, Coca-Cola light I got in my kitchen and the other Coca-Cola sign I've got up here. Eventually, we're going to redo this kitchen. We're going to take that wall out and make this kitchen a lot bigger. Right now, there's not a lot of room in here for that, but what the heck, it still looks wicked cool and I have no regrets. Uh, I also bought this baby up here, which is an old Coca-Cola thermometer. Uh, it's a little rough, but the price was right, and I'm happy I got it. I'll go outside and show you what else I got. Okay, this other thing I got is something that I've kind of had a fantasy about doing for quite some time. Back in the old days on the old cars, they used to be powered by uh, fire. They'd have a little, uh, little kerosene lantern with a wick in it, and they'd have uh, a colored lamp on the back, and that's what the old-fashioned light fixtures looked like on the very old cars. Well, I found this thing... It's got a name on the top of it. It looks like insulated kerosene safety lamp patented in Rossi, Michigan. No, Rossi Manufacturing Company, and then it says Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. N-O-V-E-R-O-U-T is what it looks like. That'd be Novarut. Novarout. Okay. Anyway, it's not wired yet, but I went ahead and mounted it on here, and I'm going to run me a, a bulb up in there. I've got that coffee can over there for a brake light and I can put my other brake light into this one. That way I'll have one on each side uh, and that's just going to look wicked cool. Uh, this particular one must have been mounted on a ship because there's a green uh, little emerald thing over here and the red one on this side. Usually that's where, where they do it for ships. There's another red little diamond thing on the back here. But there's a, a plate that kind of covers that one up, so and it, which is good because you really shouldn't have a red light pointing toward the front. Uh, we're going to a car show tomorrow. Honey Babe's going to drive Cinderella, and I'm going to drive this. And even though I don't have it wired yet, I wanted to go ahead and stick it on there just because I thought it was wicked cool. I'll show you a little bit more about how this thing works. Uh, this thing would flip open, and there would be a, a little kerosene canister that would slip up in here, and there would be a wick right here. You would light this wick and then you would close this lamp and that way you'd have a, a a tail light when you went down the road that's the way they used to work model t's had them like that i saw another one uh, at this same sale that had a, a white light in the front and and a red one on the back and they used to mount those up on the side of the car that way you'd have a little bit of light shining toward the front and a little red light on the back i didn't buy it because it was it was wicked expensive a lot more expensive than this one i actually got what I thought was a pretty good deal on this one and since I've been thinking that if I could find me one I'd get one and put it on here then I really couldn't pass it up